I'm a delegate to the United Nations World Peace Conference for religious leaders. That will not fit on a business card. This title's too big. And when I was there in uh, 2000, was there in, in August 29th, uh, the week of that. And that, that, by the way, is at the United Nations in New York City. The one who hosted this whole thing was Ted Turner. Now, you know who's Ted Turner? The reason he wanted to do this thing on religion, he wanted to document it, bring his cameras in and do this whole thing. He gave one billion dollars to the United Nations to, so that he could host it. And not just him, his newfound religion. He found a new religion and he went to it. You know, you know who's Ted Turner, right? Yes. Turner Broadcasting? Yeah. He used to be married to Jane Fonda? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he became a Janist. And I said, wow, he used to be married to her, now he worships her. <laughs> Janist, Jane Fonda, okay, forget it. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Anyway, what happened while we were there for that week, there were times when people gave speeches. We had people from every single religion that were there, but these are only religious people, only leaders of religions. And we even had another Jane who was there. Goodall, Jane Goodall was there, the, the monkey lady. The, with the apes and that. I got a chance to visit with her. And so there were people giving speeches. They weren't Muslims, but they said good things. Now, when you see something good, you can endorse it. There's nothing wrong with that. So, and it doesn't have to come from a Muslim. So when there were nice things going on, the Muslims, like everybody else, would clap, okay? Except not me. Because being a real hard shell Christian, I didn't like clapping even when I was a Muslim, a uh, Christian before I came to become a Muslim because it is from superstition of other religions that you're scaring away the demons. And it's not true. So I didn't want to clap when I was a Christian, except of course in the big uh, programs they did, you can't stop people from it. But what I would do is what Muslims did at the time of Muhammad, I would say, Allahu Akbar! So when I did it though, the people went, who is, where, <laughs> what? And the guards are like, okay, we got it covered. <laughs> we had a thousand something priests and preachers of, and you know, different religious leaders. Uh, close to 200 were Muslim from different countries. And I can tell by their garb, different parts of Africa and different places. And I was the only one saying, Allah Akbar. Now some of the brothers turned around and looked at me and they went, keep it up. Keep it up. I said, join me. No, I can't. <laughs> so every time something would come up and I liked it, I'd say, Allah Akbar. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> By then, the third or fourth time, they, they knew who, where it was coming from, who it was. Everybody knew where I sat, and different people would even come back and greet me. They knew who I was. The, the rabbis that were there they had a lot of respect. And the uh, Orthodox Christians who were sitting next to me, their priests and their bishops they had, were, were treating me with a lot of respect. So, look what happened. Ted Turner is being introduced now. And when they introduced him, the head of the Janist clan there, whatever, he introduces him and they brought him out and he said, now we bring you the man who is the head of all of the broadcasting stuff, the la 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 la. He said, and he owns more real estate than any other human on the planet. Whoa. Now I made a note of that. As soon as he went up his circular thing, they go up to the top of this thing, like their own mimbar over there, I don't know if you ever saw it, get up on the top of it. By the way, everybody has little microphones there. 
in the United Nations, everybody has a microphone. You have a little thing, and I guess they forgot to shut mine off. <laughs> because when he got up to the top of that thing, instead of starting out, he just looked straight across. I was right in front of him. He looked straight across at me. He said, are you going to say that again? <laughs> totally off the wall. I couldn't believe he did that. It was embarrassing. It was. At first, I was like, huh? And all the cameras, of course, came right on me. They work for him. He must be want us to look at this guy. Oh, zoom. And now the cameras there. I said, it all depends on what you say. <laughs> Ooh, you should have seen his face. And then he started in his speech. And you could tell it was rehearsed. I worry at night. So much so that I'm unable to sleep. When I consider the poor and the impoverished people of the world. Who are not able to even find a place to sleep. They have no home. And he gave what they call the pregnant pause. <laughs> and when he did, my mic was on. I said, well, coming from the man with the most real estate, you can solve the problem. Give him a place to live. <laughs> Oops. He paid a billion bucks. And what do you think the people remember? 